This morning expected to conduct a screening, testing and awareness campaign at the Fameni village in Elliotdale. This is part of President Saroma Posa's declaration for mass testing during the 21-day lockdown period. Gomba says they are launching the campaign at Amatole district as there has been a case of COVID-19 at Matualeni Hospital. A case of COVID-19 was confirmed at Matualeni Hospital. Our reporter Atula Joka and cameraman Rwandi Lembulali are at Elliotdale with the testing teams. A very good morning to you, Atule. What's the latest on your side? Well, a good morning and a warm welcome to SABC News viewers across the lands and depths of this country. Well, today we are in Koha in the Eastern Cape. It's in the Amatole District Municipality, where the first case of COVID-19 was identified here at Madualeni Hospital. After a lady who was traveling from Italy had arrived in East London, then traveled when she was coming home. She was coming home. She admitted herself in a local hospital. That's when she was te tested according to her own admission. And then it was discovered that uh, she is positive with COVID-19. The Eastern Cape is now sitting at 31 cases of uh, confirmed cases of COVID-19. Uh, today, they will be conducting mass testing at, in around the rural areas to try and identify uh, those people who might be uh, uh, infected with the COVID-19. And also, some of the people, there will be a screening also for people, everyone, even healthy people, to try and mitigate the spread of this virus. But I am joined uh, by the district manager of Amatole District Municipality, Omar Mau Gede, to tell us more about today's processes. Mama, tell us more about today's processes on this mass uh, uh, testing. Uh, good afternoon. To the, good morning to the viewers. Today we are starting our massive screening, testing and tracing of our communities uh, on COVID-19, that is the coronavirus. The aim of this massive testing is to screen people and test those that qualifies to be tested. To, with us, we've got the National Health Laboratory Services, the laboratory that will be going around with our teams around Koha, where we will be doing the screening. With the laboratory, we've got nurses that have been trained from Amatole District that will be able to do the testing. And to, they were trained on the technique on how to do the testing. So we'll be visiting all the villages around for this whole week. This laboratory will be moving with the teams as they move ar around. And then when they test a, pa a patient or when they test someone that has been screened and found to be, to, to, to be the one that is requiring testing, they will be doing so. The aim also is to create awareness to our communities on how to stay at home on, the, on these days, these 21 days. Today we are day 11. We are encouraging our communities to stay indoors so that we prevent the spread. So as the Department of Health, we are, we are here with different stakeholders. We've been sitting meetings with the municipality, with the police, with the traffics, and also with the church ministers, and also with the community leaders, the chiefs and the councillors, to say, let us work together in ensuring that we spread the correct message to our communities about the COVID. We know the social media is also spreading rumors and is spreading unnecessary panic to our communities. We are saying today, we stop COVID in Koha. We are stopping also the rumors about COVID. That's why we are here today with SABC and the National Health Laboratory and all the officials from the Department of Health, trained professional nurses. Thank you very much. Talking about trained health practitioners, we do have Dr. Miller, uh, who will tell us more about today's proceeding. Doctor, how important is it for people to, to, to go through these trainings and these testings as well? And also, how many people have you traced since we did uh, get a case of uh, positive uh, COVID-19 here in Koha? Yeah, so I think up until now, we haven't been able to really describe the full extent of the outbreak in an area like this. Mm -hmm. Most people haven't qualified for testing until now. So. Mm -hmm. For us to comment on how big the outbreak is in a rural area like this, I think we'll see in the next few weeks. Um, we have had one patient that's tested positive at Madhuleni and she was very good in terms of presenting herself to the hospital and complying with everything. We managed to trace all of her contacts in the area um, and they were all either asymptomatic or tested negative. 
Um, so in terms of uh, her presentation, we're quite confident that we've managed to trace everyone that she's in contact with. But what we don't know is um, other patients maybe that are in the area, and that's what we'll be detecting now. Okay. And also this uh, massive uh, testing, what will it entail, if you can explain the process? Yeah, so I think the important thing for us is to make sure that we're testing the right people um, and that for the people that we're not testing, we give the right messages to. You know, um, the importance of uh, social distancing, um, staying inside unless, unless uh, they need to go outdoors for um, essentials. Um, so when people meet the guidelines, as has been set out by the NICD, which is a certain list of symptoms that you may have, um, then we will be doing testing. I think we're going to be doing oropharyngeal and naso nasopharyngeal swabs. Um, and then following up those tests, any positive results will result in increased testing and contact tracing. So we've got teams set up that will be doing that contact tracing based on the results. And also I was driving around town and I can I tell that it's, it's a bit chaotic. People are not really maintaining the social distancing. How dangerous is it and how important is it for this awareness and for people to abide and also adhere to those regulations? Yeah, it's a difficult message for us to try and communicate. Um, on the one side, there's a lot of fear about coronavirus, and then on the other side, there's maybe a thought that it's not here and we don't need to abide by social distancing. Um, we've noticed definitely it's quietened down. Um, the hospital's quietened down since the lockdown. Um, but uh, as you can see here in Klocha uh, today, it's uh, much, uh, much busier than one would hope. Um, of course, there is this big screening campaign starting, so I think there's media and there's some other people around. We hope that the, um, the enforcement, the police are around now, that the enforcement of the lockdown will ensure that uh, social distancing continues and that people do continue to stay in their homes and reduce the spread of the virus. I'm also going to be uh, educating people on uprooting the stigma around the disease as well. Uh, yes, definitely. There's a, there's a lot of fear around coronavirus and there's a lot of social media and WhatsApp forwards that are going on that are um, obviously work against the message that we're trying to give. So this is a great opportunity for us to share um, with the community as we do um, screening and we go from village to village to share the facts around coronavirus and how to keep safe. Thank you so much. Thanks. Well, those were health officials and health practitioners telling us about today's proceedings, saying, of course, they will be going around to the villages to also strengthen uh, the message of ensuring that uh, they do uh, equip people with so much in, uh, much information so that they do not make a mistake and also to also and try to mitigate the myths that are going around around coronavirus and also the stigma that is surrounded by the virus and also to ensure that uh, they do educate people about the door-to-door -door campaign that will be taking place and also trying to uh, trace those individuals who might have come into contact with one of the COVID uh, uh, cases which started here in Kocha uh, in the Amatole district. From myself, Atule Joga, my colleague Luandi Lembulali, studio. Atule, we thank you so much for that update. Atule Joga, they're coming to us from the Eastern Cape, of course, part of a bigger effort that was introduced uh, by President Cyril Ramaphosa last week, Monday evening, where he announced that 10,000 field workers uh, would be mobilized and put out to different communities in South Africa for mobile testing. You're watching the agenda.